Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be breaking down the brand new WWE 2K23 gameplay trailer in which we'll go over all the new footage and we'll break it down to see what extra deals we can find. Before we do that though, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest WWE 2K23 news, then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications as I'll be bringing you all the details between now and release along with some exclusive gameplay. So let's not wait any longer, let's start breaking down the new gameplay trailer as the trailer starts off with a look at John Cena's entrance, who we see has been updated to feature his 20 year anniversary shirt with the matching towel, though the trons used are still Cena's old ones. The biggest talking point in the footage is the reflections that we see on the floor, as this year the developers have implemented ray tracing technology which gives us real time reflections and lighting effects for the first time. The trailer then switches to the Tribal Chief as we see part of Roman Reigns entrance in which we see Roman with the Una Fala neck piece before we then switch back to footage of John Cena who we see making his way down the ramp. We then get our first look at Bad Bunny who the video notes is automatically included with both the deluxe and the icon editions while players picking up the standard or cross gen editions will need to pre-order the game before March 16th in order to access him. Bad Bunny's attire is taken from his WrestleMania 37 appearance in which he teamed with Damian Priest to take on The Miz and John Morrison. In the next shot we get a preview of the Bloodlines entrance in which we have Roman Reigns, The Usos and just in front of Jay, Paul Heyman. While you can't see any titles in the entrance, one thing this does appear to confirm is a four man Bloodline entrance though sadly there's no sign of Sami Zayn. As we move on to the next clip, we get an up close shot of Roman as he sweeps his hair back before we then see him in action with this gameplay clip of him using mounted punches against Drew McIntyre. From there, we cut to Roman's WrestleMania opponent, Cody Rhodes, with this footage giving us an up close look at Cody's entrance in the Raw arena, where it's safe to say that Cody has one of the best looking models that we've ever seen. The footage then switches to a different shot of Cody's entrance, this time in the Hell in a Cell arena where we see the red Hell in a Cell hanging above the ring. We then get a look at Cody's opponent, which is none other than Seth Rollins, with this footage of Seth confirming that he has his new Seth freaking Rollins trons, though it appears the entrance may be the same. The next clip shows both stars reaching for a grapple, with this clip giving us a better look at Seth's attire, which is actually really up to date, as this attire is one that Seth wore back in November for a match with Finn Balor. From there we switch over to NXT, where we get the reveal of Cora Jade, with this footage confirming we'll be getting the face version of Cora with the skateboard. As the trailer cuts to gameplay, we also get the reveal of NXT's Alba Fire, who made her debut in last year's game under her old ring name, Kaylee Ray. Also confirmed via this footage is the addition of an updated NXT arena with the black and gold trons, with the footage here also giving us a much better look at one of the new female referees, which are another of this year's new additions. Switching back to the Raw arena, we get a preview of Bianca Belair's entrance, with this shot confirming Bianca will feature her red and black attire from WrestleMania 38. Also visible is another shot of the female referee, who appears to be levitating at ringside. We then get confirmation of the Judgment Day's team entrance, with this footage giving us a great look at Rhea's model, while we see Finn Balor and Damian Priest in the background. Going back to the Hell in a Cell footage, we see Seth preparing to dive off the top rope before the camera pulls back to give us a look at the returning Logan Paul who we next see springboarding into action against Roman Reigns. We then cut back to footage of Seth's dive where the camera changes to reveal him putting Cody through the table with a diving splash. Moving on to the next clip, we get a look at Bianca's in-ring attire as we see her lifting Rhea with a press slam before we then cut to footage of the cover star John Cena who we see deliver an AA to Austin Theory. At this point in the trailer, we get our first footage of War Games with this initial shot showcasing the NXT 2.0 arena which is decked out with the War Games branding. This shot also reveals the holding area that we first seen in the background of the screenshot as the arena features two sets of stairs, one at either side of the rings which is where people exiting the cage will make their way down to ringside and enter the match. Zooming in on the footage, we also get the reveal of the Usos in one of the cages while the other cage features Kevin Owens and Sheamus. From there we get some slow motion footage that goes on to reveal Sami Zayn with this footage also showing just how hectic this match can be as we see Drew and Sami in one ring, Sheamus and Jay fighting in the other and then Jimmy diving off the top rope onto Kevin Owens. The footage then goes on to showcase some of the gameplay that occurs when moving between rings with this clip showing Drew as he throws Sami over the top rope of one ring with Sami then landing in the trench and rolling into the next. 
This footage also confirms that players will be able to stay in this middle area as we see Jace standing there as he waits for Seamus. This shot also confirms that weapons can be brought into the cage as if you look behind Drew you can see a sledgehammer and a stop sign. We then get more footage of Sammy, this time receiving a neckbreaker from Kevin Owens, with this footage giving us a better look at both men's attires as Sammy has the Sami Zayn Forever tights from his match with Johnny Knoxville at WrestleMania, while Kevin Owens features his relentless red t-shirt. Moving on to the legend section of the trailer, we get confirmation of Macho Man Randy Savage, who appears to feature the same attire that he did last year, with a confirmation of Savage then followed by confirmation of a classic Hulk Hogan in his classic Hulk rules shirt and bandana. The trailer then goes off to show gameplay of the Hulkster, who we see deliver his iconic leg drop to the Macho Man, with his shot also revealing both stars' ring attires. We then get the reveal of Stone Cold Steve Austin, with this footage appearing to be taken from his victory motion as earlier screenshots have already confirmed that Austin has his usual jacket during his entrance. Staying with Stone Cold, the next confirmation we have is the inclusion of Brett the Hitman Hart as we see Brett taking the stunner. For the next reveal we get more Hell in a Cell gameplay, with this footage revealing the return of Shawn Michaels who features the same attire that he had in 2K22, as this version of Michaels is the red outfit that he wore in last year's 2K Showcase. As for the gameplay, we see Michaels being choke slammed off the Hell in a Cell by The Undertaker, though from what I can tell, the animation remains the same. Next up we get a great look at Bad Bunny, as this shot shows off his model without the glasses as we see him perform what looks to be a Canadian destroyer on The Miz. In terms of The Miz, this shot also confirms that his attire is taken from SummerSlam as we have his black attire with the My Balls and Massive name tag. Also shown off, we have footage of the modern day rock delivering a rock bottom to John Cena, with this footage confirming what looks to be a new version of the rock bottom. Getting his own back, we also have new footage of John Cena, who we see deliver an AA to The Rock, before we then cycle through some quickfire gameplay clips, starting out with this shot of what could potentially be a new spear animation for Roman Reigns. That's then followed with new footage of the Cody Cutter, which Brian Williams confirmed is now possible as a signature move, as in-ring springboards are now available to assign as both signatures and finishers. Also shown off, we have more women's footage, with this clip showing Charlotte as she takes out Alexa with natural selection. The footage also goes on to confirm the attires we'll see for them, with Alexa's attire being the one that she returned in towards the end of last year and she's since gone on to wear that numerous times, while Charlotte states back all the way to the Thunderdome era, though she's also worn it at various points over the last two years. Staying with the ladies, we also have another clip of Rhea and Bianca, with this shot showing Rhea perform the Riptide. The trailer then ends with Bad Bunny, as we have more action of him and The Miz, with this footage showing him deliver a Falcon Arrow, which he then follows up with a dive to the outside. So that's a breakdown of the footage included in the new gameplay trailer, with War Games obviously being the highlight, as that's this year's big new addition. Overall, I thought the trailer was pretty good, as we got quite a few new confirmations, like the Bloodline and the Judgment Day entrance, and then we also got the reveal of Cora Jade with a skateboard, which, while it's technically outdated, I do think it's cool to see, and I hope that they've included some interactions with it, just like we've seen in AEW with Darby Allin. One thing I also want to go back to is the updates to ray tracing and real-time reflections, as while it might seem like a small thing to some, taking a look at this comparison shot and you can really see just how big a difference that this change makes. So that's a breakdown of the trailer and some of the highlights, let me know what you made of it in the comments, and while you're there, make sure that you have your notifications turned on, as yesterday I was invited out to a special 2K23 preview event, therefore I'll have full coverage of everything from that event coming very very soon. Until then though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.